Hi there, as usual it's me, just a voiceover, you are watching Revy Machines and on this nice autumn day we are going to make an awesome electric fat bike. I am going to show you today how to turn any regular bicycle into electric version. And first of all, we need a regular bike of course. We are choosing it right now. I want to find a bike with 26 inch wheels, aluminum frame and hydraulic brakes. There are numerous of them, so we picked out quite an affordable model with a positive feedback. I put the link to a similar model in the description, but actually you might take almost any other bike you want and I decided to buy this one. Here it is, absolutely new bike for our project. Let's unwrap it and assemble. It's a very simple procedure. We fasten the handlebar, the pedals and other accessories and pump up the tires with this very handy tiny compressor. And it's ready now. Meet our bike, which I would call the Blue Fat Bike Aggressor. It looks quite weighty, isn't it? But the frame is made of aluminum, so in fact it weighs about 16 kilos. At a first glance I like this bike, it's neat and meet all our requirements. Let's try it! Frankly speaking, I don't like pedaling, so let's put our plan into action. We are going to start it now. I'll show you all the steps of the process, how to turn a regular bike into electric one. But it's rather chilly outside, so we have some tool to get warm. Make some tea and get comfortable, my friends, and we will work meantime. To make our bike electric, we need a special kit. There are numerous of them in the internet, I'll put the link in the description, but you may choose a kit with different specs. Let's unpack our kit. We have here the motor wheel, 750 watts power, 48 volts. There is a battery in the box, it's 48 volts power and 14 ampere hours capacity. The controller, computer and the throttle are already connected to each other, you don't need to adjust it. And finally we have a charging device. We will need these tools, some kind of wrench and the most important, this one. First of all, we need to take off a rear wheel. To do that, we should unscrew this gear and take off the chain. Then let's unscrew a disc brake. After that, we need to take the tire off the wheel, so we lower the pressure to the minimum. We have here a soft rubber, so I do this procedure just with my own hands, without tools. Now we should put the tire on the motor wheel. If you are not able to do it with your hands, use some metal tools, but be careful not to puncture the tire. That's all, we can pump it up now. After that we mount the disc brake. Now we should install the rear wheel. Mind that you have to put it right. 
The disc brake shouldn't graze against the braking gear. You can adjust the position of the wheel by adding some spacers. And finally, we put back the shifting gear. As a result, we have a perfect idle run of the rear wheel. It's very important to achieve the maximum range on a single charge. The next step. Let's install the battery. There is a bracing for a flask on the frame. We should fasten here the platform for the battery. Here we need to attach the platform in a certain position on the frame to get enough space for the battery here. It's all done. Now let's just connect it with the controller. We attach the controller at the top of the frame. It's the most suitable place for it. Then we should connect the motor wheel to the controller. After that, we attach the computer to the left of the handlebar and the throttle at the right of it. And the final thing, the wiring. Put the cables neatly along the frame. Well, in general, I think that's all. Our fat bike now is a Rio electric transport. Let's try to get it started. And it seems we are ready to test it. But firstly, let's sum up our work. As a result, we've got the electric fat bike with aluminum frame, 26-inch wheels, hydraulic brakes, 750 watts motor, 49 amp hours, 48 volts battery, decent computer and bright display. And finally, the perfect build quality. Let's make a final touch. As to the weight, well, it weighs 25 kilos, quite an appropriate weight for an electric fat bike. Let's have a ride, guys. All the assembling process took us about 3 hours, but we took our time. Besides, the filming made it more complicated. It's getting dark now, but I think we still have enough time to test our bike. Actually, we've got a fine electric fat bike with decent characteristics. It will be suitable for use in autumn and even in winter if we equip it with studded tires. The reducer 750 watts motor provides a decent torque and acceleration. Our fat bike have a pleasant and neat look. Nothing is dangling and trembling here. Let's check the maximum speed. As we can see, the maximum result is 41 km per hour. A good result for my own part. As to the range, unfortunately we don't have enough time for this test now. But we might arrange tests with a similar bike the other day and the result was 45 kilometers. So I think you can't count on about 40 kilometers. And finally, I should mention perfect hydraulic brakes. And speaking about the prices. I bought the fat bike for 500 dollars. And the electric kit puts me back $700, so the total price of my electric fat bike is about $1200. Well, let's call it a day. Thanks for having a ride with us, my friends. Please consider subscribing the channel if you liked this video. Stay with us, there will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye. Well,